on last turn we have studied the addition of integers and the properties related to it now today we will study about subtraction of integers and properties related to it subtraction is just opposite of addition that is if i am having two integers a and b and i have to subtract them so i can write it as a plus minus of b that is i am adding the additive inverse of b to a let us understand with the help of an example i have to subtract 8 from 5 now in this type of question we have to be careful that we have to subtract 5 we have to subtract we have to subtract 8 from 5 so we will write 5 minus 8 since we have to subtract 8 from 5 so it will be equals to 5 plus minus of 8 now we have studied in the properties of addition that when we have to add two integers of different sign what we have to do we have to simply subtract the values we have to find the difference that is difference of 8 and 5 is 3 now out of 5 and minus 8 Uh, out of out of five and eight, eight is the greater number, and having the minus sign. So answer will be minus three. Three will have the sign. Three will have the sign of the greater integer, that is of eight. Now again, if I have to subtract minus six from three, it will be equals to three minus. Minus six. Now, if I open this bracket, then minus and minus will become plus. So it will be three plus six, which will be equals to nine. The main important step is that that minus and minus will become plus, since the negative of minus six, that is the additive inverse of minus six, is plus six. Now, let us understand the properties related. to subtraction the first property which we have studied in addition was the commutative property was the closure property the closure property says if i take two integers a and b and if i subtract them i will again get a integer that is c will also be a integer let us see with few examples 3 is an integer and if i subtract 2 from it i will get 1 which is a integer if i subtract 2 if i subtract 3 from 2 i will get minus 1 which is again a integer now if i subtract 2 from 2 i will get 0 which is again a integer if i subtract minus 3 from 5 i will get 5 plus 3 that is equals to 8 which is again a uh, integer so we have seen that if we take two integers and subtract them we will get a uh, integer the second property which we have studied in addition was the commutative property is the commutative property applicable on integer or not let us see if i take a integer minus 3 and subtract 2 from it i will get minus 5 now commutative property says ki if a minus b is equals to b minus a then the integer follow the commutative property for subtraction here i have done minus 3 minus 2 now let me see that is 2 minus Minus three is equals to five or not? Here I can write it as two plus three. Since minus and minus will get cancelled and become plus, so it will be equals to five. Here I am getting minus five, and here I am getting plus five. Both are not equal, so we can say that commutative property is not applicable in subtraction. or the commit integers are not commutative for subtraction now let us see is the associative property 
is applicable or not. According to associative property, A minus B minus C will be equal to A minus B minus C. If this is applicable, then the associative property will be applicable in integer. Let us see with an example. Let me take three integers 3, minus 4, and minus 5. Now, first I will subtract 3 and minus 4, and then I will subtract minus 5 from it. Here I will get 3 minus minus will become plus 4 and minus and minus minus and minus will again become plus 5. 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 and plus 5 will be equals to 12. Now I will take minus 5 and minus 4 together. So it will be 3 minus minus 4 minus minus 5 it will be equals to 3 minus minus 4 and minus minus will become plus 5 and it will be equals to 3 minus 1. Minus 4 plus 5 will be 1 that is plus 1 and since I am having minus sign outside the bracket so it will become minus 1. So it will be equals to 2. Here I am getting 12 and here I am getting 2. Since both the values do not come out to be equal so associative property is not applicable in integer or we can say integers are not associative for subtraction. Next we come to multiplication of integer. Multiplication of integer is the same as natural number but here we are having the sign that is plus minus sign. Uh, let us understand multiplication with the help of example. If we are having two integers a and b and if I multiply a with b where a and b both are positive I will get the product that is a and b that is if a is positive and b is positive I will get the product a b positive. Let us understand with the help of example if I multiply 3 by 2 I will get 6 that is plus 3 multiplied by plus 2 then I will get plus 6. Now if I multiply minus a that is negative a with positive b I will get minus of a b that is I will first product the number and give the negative sign to it. I can un uh, see this with the help of example that is if I multiply minus 3 with 2 I will get the result 3 multiplied by 2 I will get 6 and minus will give the negative minus 3 because sign will give the negative sign to 6. Now if I multiply a with minus b then again I will get minus of a b since minus b will give its signs to the product that is if I multiply 3 with minus 2 then I will get 6 that is of minus sign. In case if both the integers are negative that is minus a into minus b then I will get plus of a b that is I will get positive the minus and minus will become plus so if I have to multiply minus 3 with minus 2 I will get plus these properties should be remembered while performing the multiplication operation now let us see the properties of multiplication First property which we have studied in addition was closure property. Same property we will study in multiplication. Closure property says if a and b are two integer and if I multiply them and I get a number c then c will also be an integer. This you can see in the above condition if I was having two numbers 3 and 2 minus 3 and 2, 2 and minus 2, I am getting always an integer regardless of their sign. Means, unka sign kuch bhi ho, lekin multiply karne pa jo bhi number aara hai, wo hume kya mil raha hai? Ek integer. So, do integers ko multiply karne pa, hume integers milta hai. What if I multiply 
a number by zero. Zero is also an integer. If I multiply hundred, if I multiply thousand by zero, I will get zero. And zero is also a integer. Second property is the commutative property. If a and b are two integer, and if I multiply them, then it is equals to b multiplied by a. That is, I can multiply in any order. Here we can see with an example, two into three is equals to six. It is also equals to three into two. If I multiply minus one with ten, I will get minus ten, and which is equals to if I multiply ten by minus one. So multiplication is commutative since we can multiply in any order. Next property is associative property. If I am having three numbers a, b, and c, then a into b into c is equals to a into b into c. Let us understand with the help of example: three minus four. And two are three integers. Now, if I multiply three by minus four into two, it will be equals to three into minus eight, which is equals to minus twenty-four. Now, if I take in the second order, that is, if I multiply three and minus four first, and then multiply it by two, I will get minus twelve. Into two that is equals to minus twenty-four. Here I am getting both the values equal. Therefore, multiplication is associative. You can try this with other integers also. Next is existence of multiplicative identity. I've told you in addition. The identity is the number that if we perform any operation on it, then we will get the number itself again. That is, if I multiply a with a number, I will get a again. Or if I multiply a number with a, I will get a again. So this number will be the identity, multiplicative identity. What the number could be? It is the one. If I multiply any number with one, I will get the number itself. So here. One is the multiplicative identity. Let us see with the help of example. If I multiply minus three with one, I will get minus three again. Which is if I if I would have multiplied minus uh, if I would multiply one with minus three, I've got minus three only. If I take a positive number two and if I multiply it by one, I will get two. Or if I can write it as also one into two. So we, here one is the multiplicative identity for integers. Next is the multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse is the number which, when multiplied by the number, we will get the multiplicative identity. That is the one. Here I have to choose a number which I have multiplied with the integer. I will get one. What the number could be? The number will be the reciprocal of one upon the number that is one upon a. So here a will get cancelled with a, and we will get one. So we can write one upon a. But here we have to remember that a should not be equals to zero. We have the multiplicative inverse only for the non Zero integer. Here, here a is the multiplicative inverse of one upon a, and one upon a is the multiplicative inverse of a. Let us understand this also with the help of example. If I multiply two with one upon two, I will get one since two will get cancelled with two one times, and one into one is one, and here is also one. Or I can write it as one upon two into two is equals to One. So you can see that multiplicative inverse of two is one upon two, and that is one upon two is two. Let us take a negative integer minus three into one upon minus three will be equals to one. 
So the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 is just the reciprocal of minus 3 that is 1 upon minus. We have to just simply write 1 upon the number. I can also write 1 upon minus 3 into minus 3 is equals to 1. So I can say the multiplicative inverse of minus uh, 1 upon minus 3 is minus 3. The next most important property is the distributive property of multiplication. First we will see over addition. Multiplicative property, distributive property over addition means a plus means a into b plus c. If we are adding two numbers and multiplying it by third number, we will get a into b plus b plus a into c. That is, first we will multiply a with b and then we will multiply a with c. This is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. We can see with the help of example 2 into minus 3 plus 5 will be equals to 2 into 2 that is equals to 4. Now if I apply distributive property over it then 2 into first minus 3 then plus then 2 into 5 which so will be equals to minus 6 plus 10 which is again equals to 4. So both the values come out to be same. So distributive property over multiplication is applicable. Again we have the distributive property over subtraction. In this if a is multiplied by b minus c then it will be equals to a into b minus a into c. That is a is distributed over a to b and c both. That's why it's known as the distributive property. Let us have an example. 2 into 5 minus 8 it will be equals to 2 into minus 3 which is equals to minus 6 and 2 if I apply distributive property then I will get 2 into 5 minus 2 into 8 then it will be equals to 10 minus 16 now it will be equals to minus 6 here you can see both the values comes out to be same so distributive property is also applicable over subtraction now let us see some results based on the properties of integer we have seen that if you multiply any number with 0 we will get 0 this is known as the property of 0 that is if you multiply any integer with 0 you will get 0 next property if you are having the product of integers with the number of integer having minus sign as odd numbers that if i that is if i am having a number minus a into minus b into minus c then its product will be a b c but since the number of integers present here are odd with the negative sign so the answer will be minus of a b c so simple meaning is that if we are having the number of negative integers in odd numbers the so the product will be negative now if i was having the number of negative integers as in even numbers that is if i am having only two numbers as negative then the product will be a b c with positive sign now here you can see the number is even that is we are having uh, two numbers of negative sign if i was having four numbers of negative sign then i will simply multiply the numerical value and give the positive sign here if i am having seven numbers of negative sign then i will multiply first the seven numbers and i will give give the negative sign to the product